Hi there, my name is Sean Taylor. I'm going to take you through a short technical training video on how to use the smart notebook uh, within the classroom. A, to make your work look a lot more presentable, make it so you can share it with students, but also for visual learners out there that they're going to understand and see things a lot clearer when this. So to start off, it's an AP physics question uh, that I've done with just this standard um, smart pen. Uh, just here and what that does it looks a little bit messy especially as the question develops and we go down uh, throughout this so let's get to it right away um, so the first thing I want to show you is the smart text pen but what it does it takes your handwriting and it turns it into text and it looks a lot neater especially if you're trying to do something that's really really presentable for students to see um, boom there it happens uh, the next feature I want to show you is the straight line feature. So I go up to this section here, grab my straight line feature, and then what you can do with this, you can draw nice straight lines on the board without any wobbles at all within that. Um, the next feature, especially for this question, students are going to need to be able to measure things and do some technical drawings. So I'm going to select my protractor, do my select feature so I can move my protractor down to exactly where I want it. And that's right there. Then go back to my straight line feature. And I can do a nice line at 50 degrees, as mentioned in the question right here. Go back to my select feature, go on to my protractor, and cut that out. Next feature I want to show you is within the pen section again. Go up to here and select the calligraphic pen. Um, and then what we can do is we can add in all the information that we need. So we've got 50 degrees and 10 meters per second here. Now that's our question all, all set up. It looks a lot neater than when we had it before. And then what we can start doing is solving it. So to solve it, you need a mathematical functions feature. And it's very similar to the text one right up here. You can write in your mathematical feature and it writes it into text for you. So let's just have a look at our horizontal component here. And what we would need to do to solve that is 10 times it by cos 50 and I know that that equals 6.4. And what it will do is it enabled it, a little small mistake there with the point, it hasn't noticed it, so I can circle it using my arrays feature, circle the whole thing and tap it, and go back to it. And we get our answer of 6.4 coming up. Now, as soon as you click that, do your select function, you can move it down. Again, a lot more visual students can see. This is just a short snippet of some of the features within the smart board. And if I put this side by side and put it into dual screen, you can see the difference in how this is set up and how neat this actually looks and visual for learners.